Kara is the owner and director of the Movement Arts Studio on Camino Island, Washington. I'm interviewing her at her beautiful home overlooking Atzalade Bay on Camino Island. Kara, I'd like you to start by just telling me a little about a little bit about your early life. Uh, my early life, I uh, was in a large Catholic family in New York, grew up in New York City. Um, my father was a journalist and my mother is a magazine editor. And uh, consequently, my mother insisted that we do not get a New York accent, and that's why I don't have one. She was very proper about that and demanded that we speak correctly, which has come in very handy to me as a yoga teacher learning how to communicate. So, uh, yep, so I grew up in New York City, um, left uh, at the end of high school, went out to the Midwest where my mother had moved, and uh, I, I was a dancer, and uh, I did go to college and uh, studied dance in college, University of Iowa. I've spent time uh, teaching dance, uh, exercise, and various things from 1980, uh, on and um, also had a career in sales while I was raising my children and um, as far as is that good for my early childhood yeah, I, I went all the way up to <laughs> <laughs> <That's good. laughs> almost to when I started teaching <laughs> okay, yoga <laughs> let's go on then to my next question yes. <laughs> what was your journey to becoming a yoga instructor ah. and owner of a yoga studio okay so um, when I was 12 years old, and I was uh, not a very healthy child, um, especially compared to my siblings, I had a lot of health problems, and my father um, had started studying yoga, and he came to me, not, not to any of my other siblings, but to me, and said, you know, I need to teach you these poses because I think you need it so that you can handle your situation. And so I learned, for, my father was my first teacher, he taught me, I don't know, four or five basic poses and how to relax into them and spend time in them. And, uh, and after that, it became a, a real private thing for me to do to help me relax. Um, and then when I was in high school, they offered yoga instruction, so I took that class. So there was this kind of continuum of studying yoga through my life, but nev never did I consider teaching it. I, um, it. For me, it was a very private thing, and I taught other physical disciplines like dance and aerobics and different kinds of exercise. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah. I didn't know that about you. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, um, let's go to your present uh, day now. You have a studio, and I'm curious of what you offer um, in your studio to, the, to your clients or your students, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, they are students. We also call them clients, and that's the interesting thing about running a yoga studio is we're mixing a spiritual practice with a business, and it's one of the biggest challenges of owning a yoga studio is keeping that business afloat so we can do our work. Um, so that's a real challenge, but how um, I perceive our studio is um, my dream of how a studio should be, and I've been doing this for 18 years. I've had the studio since 1998. Um, we've had various locations, but we've managed to stay afloat, is that now uh, really we're reaching a place where it feels more like a collective. We have nine uh, different teachers teaching at the studio and um, of various backgrounds and styles, including uh, people who have been through our teacher training program. And I just, it feels so good to me to have such variety of teachers and classes and times and types of yoga where somebody can come in and do something very gentle and somebody can come in and do a strong vinyasa flow and then we have all those choices. Um, so yeah, that's my vision of a yoga studio and we're actually living the vision now, um, but it continues to be a challenge uh, both financially and um, scheduling is the hardest thing trying to figure out when to put the classes where. <laughs> okay, yeah. well, I can certainly attest to that because I'm one of your students, <laughs> right. and I have been for 10 years, and I just wouldn't be able to live without going to yoga every day. <laughs> so I, I applaud you for your efforts and your success, and uh, I think it's wonderful that we have you on the island and all the offerings you give to the people here. 
So, Kara, uh, just to um, complete the interview, what else would you like to tell me about yourself? Just personally, philosophically, whatever comes to your mind. Well, That's it's the hardest question I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. The other day in class, I was going on to the students about how we have so many retired students at our studio, and uh, I was going on about how much I like working with retired people because they're so laid back and have time, and it's just so enjoyable, and I said something about, you know, my own retirement is coming at some point, and uh, one of the students said, join the crowd, and then, he, and then everybody was going, no, <laughs> no, because they, they, the yoga has become such an integral part of their lives, like you just said, and um, to me, that's like, we have such a strong community going here. Um, so I'm living my dharma. I'm living my, my life's purpose now. And there's no time to waste. And yo yoga is the thing. I don't know. It's my whole life. So um, I'm, I'm so happy that I'm doing what I love. And uh, the future is unknown. But I'm uh, looking forward to it. Okay, I also know that you do some retreats. Yes. And uh, I have been on several myself, and I know you have, uh, you have ongoing retreats uh, that are very popular, some even uh, internationally and, um, and some locally. So tell us a little bit about that. Uh, so yoga retreats, uh, to be honest with you, are, is a way that a yoga teacher, and we don't, we don't generally uh, make very high salaries to go on vacation. And we get to take our students with us. <laughs> I mean, on a, the very bottom level, it's that. So you're surrounded by people you love. And everybody goes off and does their own thing, too. But you get together for your yoga just like you're at home. So it's kind of like taking the studio with you. And, um, and it enables us to financially afford to go um, to these exotic places. So it's a beautiful... Uh, synergy and the students have such a great time and they get to be around people they're familiar with too plus meeting new people and having new uh, experiences and going to new places and I try to keep the trips down to a certain level because you know I don't know we don't want to waste energy and fly all over the world but we still want to be able to have those experiences of travel that are so rich uh, and we can travel to across the mountains to Leavenworth, which we do every year. We've been doing for, we're going this year for our 17th year in a row. We go back to the same place. And, um, but we have gone away as far away as Maui and as far away as Costa Rica, which is where we're going in January. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's a real pleasure to do the retreats. Now, Lots of fun. I know that you're uh, going to be involved in our Mind, Body, Spirit Connection um, event coming up in mm -hmm. uh, about a month. What are your plans? Uh, what is your, I should say, what is your, your involvement in that, in that event? Okay. So, of course, we're going to have a table and we'll have uh, some of our staff members there as well. Some of our students usually volunteer at those events too. And then um, I, in the afternoon, we're going to be offering a class on, basically on breathing. But um, that's a really important subject. <laughs> It's kind of like the most important thing. So everybody can learn to be a better breather. And we'll be teaching you a few techniques so that you can start to open your body up from the inside out and feel better and um, get more oxygen <laughs> into your body. Um, so, yep, that's what we're, we're doing in the afternoon. It's interesting that you talk about breathing because I had a, a woman approach me and she knew that I had been doing yoga for a long time. And she had never done yoga. And she says, well, I heard it's all about breathing. Is that true? <laughs> and I said, well, that is a very big part of it. Yeah. You do need to learn to breathe. Yeah. So it kind of, uh, it kind of said, she kind of looked at me like, oh, I don't think I know how to do that. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so. Even though we're doing it from the moment we're born to the moment we die, we don't ever pay attention to it. I tell people like the only time we pay attention to our breath is when we can't breathe, right? Like if you have a cold and you can't breathe, then suddenly the breath becomes very important. Right. But um, yeah, working with the breath, it's, um, it, you know, can help lengthen your life. That's true. That's what the yogis say. You can lengthen your life out by working with the breath. And you can certainly 
um, come more closely into meditation using the breath as a tool. So, yeah, if you want to meditate and you struggle with it, these tools of the breath will help you actually be able to meditate. Okay. Okay. Well, this has been very interesting. Do you have anything else you'd like to tell me about the studio, yourself, or anything mm -hmm. at all? Um, well, I'd, I'd like to encourage people who have listened. We, fear follows us through our entire life. Anyone who says they're fearless is lying. We all have fear. And a lot of times what keeps people away from studying yoga is fear. Saying, I can't do it, or I, I'm not flexible enough, or just feeling like it's something foreign. But when you actually just take that one step, and you walk in the door, and you take your first yoga class, you're going to be so happy afterwards. You're going to see that it's something that is accessible to anyone, anybody, any age can do yoga. If you can breathe, you can do yoga. So I encourage everybody to move past the fear and come to class. I totally agree. <laughs> Thank you, Kara. Right. Again, Kara Keating is the owner and director of the Movement Art Studio on Camino Island. And it's a beautiful studio and a very welcoming studio with lots of classes. Uh, there are classes, I don't know how many, 17, 18. Know, we've got uh, 24 classes a week right now, plus workshops, plus retreats, plus teacher training. And uh, we do have a website. It's movementarts.com. You can find out all about us on that website. Okay. Thank you, Kara. Wonderful interview. All right. Take care. <laughs>